Hello everyone, okay, it's great to see you. So I'm gonna be sharing with you today three ways uh, to post uh, for success on social media. So how can you show up on social media and be proud of you, your product and business? How would it feel to you to be confidently posting without hesitation at all? Um, I know, um, have you ever, I have felt this, have you ever felt really yucky, embarrassed to get out there on social media? Um, I just don't know what to be doing basically without being that salesy, spammy person. Do you feel like you're still a bit of a spammy, salesy person and don't want friends and family to see what you do? Um, it's not a great place to be and you can get through this and understand that um, there's, there's a better way to post at the end of the day and um, today I'm going to go, go through three ways to get you kind of moving forward slightly um, towards being proud a little bit more proud and confident of, about what you post how does that sound how does that sound and let me know when you're coming in um, or whether you're on the replay and I'll give you a shout out um, and um, ask lots of questions yeah so how would it really feel to you to be posting on your personal profile or business page strong confident um, you're showing up uh, with enthusiasm um, because you want to help and support people with whatever you do whatever opportunity you've got what product or service you, you have and you know that you're not going to repel someone and you know that you know you, you're not here to force people to buy okay so um, if you don't know me already my name is Adele Booth and I help pe people with their businesses online um, using social media to get more sales customers and needs coming their way so that you can have more money in your pocket and um, you know have the lifestyles that you want. So um, I know uh, it, it can be tricky. I mean, I've been through times where um, you know, I've, I, and I still am on certain groups that allow you to put those spammy posts up there about what opportunity you have and how much that costs. And there are there are groups that are specifically for that. But Facebook or any other social uh, media platform, you they don't like you doing that. It's against their rules and policies for you to actually post your product up there and shove it in someone's face okay so i never teach um, this this way uh, of selling basically um i'm completely the opposite um i enable people to come to me i don't chase them um and um, i don't feel salesy or spammy when i am to you know at my very best and do it and helping other people and that's what i want to you know share with you today um you know I, I get it when you're first starting out you know and i know my first experience of selling online was oh my god i've got to do this have i um how how i don't feel right i don't i don't it doesn't doesn't sit well, well with me um i don't know yes i don't want anybody knowing what i do if, if this is what it is times have changed yeah um and none of us like to see um a product in our face do we let's face it so our in or, or in our inboxes or in our emails do we we just we just repel them it is you know we just don't want to do that so take that on board and say well i'm not going to be one of these people either that does that there are different other methods and strategies that you know i can i can impart to you to enable you to feel better about how you you know post on social media I don't teach this um, uh, all in one thing, <laughs> right? Uh, right on here. Um, uh, I'm just giving you some tips so that you can get thinking about that. And if if you do want to have further training, then um, it is more in depth the training that I give. And and if you you know want some of that training, just uh, put a Y E S in the, uh, the 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 chat down there. And um, if you want to be marketing the right way, I can certainly send you some further training and help you on 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 that lines. But so the tips today I'm going to go through is just to get you sort of feeling your way out there and start thinking a little bit differently about how you're posting um, on social media right now so um, and just just I'm putting it out there not everybody is your target market so when I get those questions of well I don't want family and friends to see me 
family and friends may buy from you as a token gesture, okay? But they are not your target market. They are not those people that you're gonna have long-term customers, um, not, not those people that you're gonna market to, okay? You wanna remain, they wanna remain as your friends and family, and you don't wanna start changing that relationship in any way. If you've got a fantastic product that, you know, that, whatever, um, and they are using consistent, that's absolutely fine, okay? But um, and there's the way of actually not involving that on Facebook, which, I, which is one of my points. OK, so number one is if you do, you do feel really yucky and, and embarrassed um, um, and you've, you've got those fears about getting yourself out there because you don't want to be blocked um, and don't want people to unfriend you. Um, but you know that you've got a great product. Yeah. Uh, how on earth are you going to be posting out there about your product without being, you know, salesy and spammy and stuff? Uh, well, first of all, it's this taking that away, You're saying I'm not going to I'm not going to post like that. Um, what I want to do is attract people to me. So um, and there are, you know, discover. Yeah, I can I can allow you to discover a, a little bit better way to do that. So number one is is always think about the customer first. It's about what they want. OK. And you've got to make that very clear. People buy off people. They're not interested in your company. Um, or your product they're interested in you yeah whether you're trustworthy and likable and that's what you've got to work on um, straight off the bat you've got to know what your customers want you've got to get into their heads and you've got to provide that in your post in in a, an acceptable way to them that it allows them to learn about who you are what you do and what's in it for them OK, so and you do this on your business page. Don't I wouldn't recommend anybody sharing their products um, on their um, personal profile. Personal profile is for your personal stuff. Sometimes you can share the odd thing over there and that's absolutely fine. But I'd say use it on your business page and develop your relationships up with your the, the people that are, want what you've got from your business on your business page okay and and i still see loads and loads of business pages out there full of products full of their offers and nothing about who they are okay and i'll say it again people buy from people they are not interested in your product or your company okay so i want you to wrap your head around that first Customers first. Those are the people that are going to buy from you. So you've got to change your methods of um, writing and typing and, and speaking online to what people want. OK, not what you want. All right. It's about them, not you. OK, so number two is what do you post? OK. All right. If, if that's the case, I can't put my product out there with a little you know, link to it. What do you do? Yeah, what do you do? No company links, no pushing, no spamming. Yeah, what do you do? OK, some groups, as I say, do allow this and that's absolutely fine, but not on your business page, not on, on your group pages that you've, you know, you, you want to build up relationships with people and, and share, you know, content and value and, and have that feedback. Yeah, um, there are specific network groups that, you know, do you can put your you know spammy links on. That's absolutely fine, but keep it off the main drag, basically main your personal profile that you get banned you will get blocked you will you will um facebook will don't like it and other platforms don't like that either okay never share your links and that on there otherwise they will shut you down okay so be honest about you what you do how you do it how you can help and there are ways to post if you're and if you're interested in in having more training on that you need to come to me and put wait yes in 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 the chat below and i shall um show you some strategies and techniques that enable you to post whatever um to enable you to to reach those those um goals basically and um discover how to write and speak properly um it's, it's not you know not as easy as you think i know um you know it, it is easy to just put your product out there with a the link in the but that doesn't work it just repels people so it's, it's about investing in you know how you can put your message across to people 
to enable you to share your value, um, educate them on what you do and inspire them, yeah? Uh, um, inspire them through your products and through you. You, you are your brand, okay? So that's what you've got to work on first and you know, foremost, um, and not just shoving out your product in there. And once you get into your, your customer's head and they start to know, like, and trust you, then you will start to see your sales increase, okay? So you've got to do some legwork here. Um, so number three is, three tip is, um, um facebook will and other platforms that you use they won't show your posts to people who aren't interested so when you're when you're thinking um is this going to be shown to my family and friends you you can actually stop them seeing certain posts if they are a part of your business page so that you're not you know kind of in their face about that but they as the algorithms are made up now if somebody say is I don't know, into dogs, um, and you put a post about dogs there, they will send all those dog loving people that post. Yeah, they won't send all the cat loving people those posts, they only send uh, the dog loving people those posts. They know everything about you. Um, the intelligence uh, behind um, all platforms now holds so much data on people. And as 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 your post goes out there, they scan through it uh, for keywords um, and send it out to the relevant people that they think. Well, whatever the information they've got, will send it to that person. Okay, so the you know rest assured that. Um, you know, your post isn't going out to everybody and everything unless you've got, you know, you've, you've, you generally set up your, your stuff to work like that or you've, you're you not um, specific in the way you are posting and, and speaking um, about your product, if that makes sense. So, and make sure that you're, you know, you're just using your personal profile for, for family stuff and stuff for you and your business page for your business okay and it's posting the right stuff on there and stay you know stay um stay within the group or platforms rules and policies because they will shut you down if you're not complying or they'll take your post down um, so, um you need to be able to be ahead of the game of that okay so let's just go through that first number one is your customer first okay making sure that um you're not just shoving your post up there with a link in it and that's it you're thinking intuitively you're thinking in your intentions you're caring about them putting them first you're thinking okay well, what does this person want need and what do they need to know about me because it's it, you are your brand they don't want to know about any of links and products until they know about you it's all about you liking you and knowing you okay and trusting you how are you going to build that up first okay number two is what are you posting okay to hit on all of those points making sure you're, you're your, your business page and personal profile uh, are completely separate and there are ways to post and put your message across. So it's learning and discovering how to use those strategies and methods to write and speak in the right way for your customer. And, and three is, is you know, if, if you are scared that, you know, you, you, when you post that everybody's going to see it, not everybody's going to see it because that's not the way platforms are set up. They, they, they will push it out to those people that are, are, are interested in it um, or, and also you can have some control of that about where your post is going. Uh, there's a little click box under the arrow to say whether that goes public, friends, you only or other people that are in a separate box that you're marketing to. Okay, so if you're wanting to know more about sort of a blueprint to market and knowing about those strategies and techniques, um, ways to market online and post online uh, and systems and that. So to get you rocking and rolling really and get that foundation work going um, because you know you're just going to, if you're going to just put your product out there with a little link underneath it, it's going to repel people. You're not going to see the sales coming in. I can assure you that um, you need to be building your relationships up first and treating your customers as respectfully uh, giving them what they want not what you want okay and um, then you'll be building that 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 
uh, business that you can be proud of. You could be confident to come out here and speak about your product and services by providing value, providing those solutions to people, providing that information, education about what you do, how you can help them, and what's in it for them. Okay, so um, put away yes um, down below, and I shall send you that information uh, training, and you can just go ahead and go for it okay i'd love to see you on the inside of that training uh so i hope you found that useful let me know if you found that useful what you found useful or you know if you've got an aha moment um whether you're going to change the way you do stuff um and, and think again about the next next post that you put out there all right see you soon i'll see you again tomorrow bye for now